you know, one of the things that's great about being a director and an editor and a shooter um, is that when I'm shooting, I'm wearing all of those hats, so I'm constantly thinking about how I'm going to edit the scene, what shots I need to be able to cut from this to this, um, how I need to get the reverse, how I need to get the wide, how I need to get the tight, um, and and how emotionally I want to feel as I'm watching it. So I, like I'm I'm like thinking about like 47 things at once as I'm shooting, um, but also not thinking about anything. So I think you know so much of it is is. You know, you're, you are thinking about it, but you're also trying to just live in the moment. But for I, I'm like, I'm the guy who's like sitting in the hotel room playing through the, the reels or through the, you know, clips. Um, because I want to make sure that I got, a th I got what I thought I got. I want to make sure that the sound is working, that it was shot decently well. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm constantly sort of editing as I'm shooting and, and, and sort of evaluating. And then, I, you know, um, Another thing that I do is that I, I write a treatment. And I wrote the treatment probably two thirds of the way through shooting, maybe halfway through shooting. Um, and that treatment was what I thought the film was. And that treatment had real scenes in it. And they had scenes that I thought or hoped might happen. And those scenes were in bold. And then everything else was in regular font. And, you know, I think that was, there's version one, and then the final version was like version 39 or something, <laughs> you know? And so I was, the, the story was constantly changing and constantly shifting, and it's really important to me to understand what I thought I was telling, the story that I was telling, but then, you know, going back to Al Mazel's being open to the story shifting and changing along the way.